What is up guys, Freedom Wani rocking the YouTube like we always do and welcome back to Toriko. We got chapter 19 Gourmet Corp. So last week guys, we got through, uh, we got the Puffle Whale, we had Puffle Whale Sashimi with uh, Toriko and Coco. We also saw the thing that put Coco and Toriko on edge. What is that? I got a feeling it's got something to do with this gourmet corp. Uh, we also got to meet a legend in Knocking Master Zero. He revived Kamatu after one of Toriko's uh, flashbangs, basically. Killed him. So, kind of interesting. And then we had Knocking Master Zero resuscitate his heart and everything like that. So, what's going to be going down this week, we don't know. But we're going to get straight into it. But before we get into it, guys, I want to let you guys know a couple of things. In two weeks, guys, you're not going to get videos from me for probably about a year. Two to three weeks. Look, maybe less, maybe long. I don't know because I will be moving. Um, I will be moving into my brand new house with my partner. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. Uh, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get my stuff up there, get set up, and all that kind of jazz. But once... Things are set up and everything. The videos will be back and will be back bigger, better than ever. But without any further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's chapter. Chapter 19, Gourmet Corp. And we're starting with Umen Umeda, the IGO Bureau Chief. Let's go. Gourmet 19, Gourmet Corp. Gourmet Corp. Oh, brother. They've made their move, have they? Darn. That gourmet corp. And this is coming from IGO Bureau Chief Umen Umeda. Well, team, what's the damage? As of today, they've stolen a land eel and burger claim from Biotope 1, a Crimson Scorpion from Biotope 5, and the Rainbow Fruit from Biotope 8. Okay, so as we know, each they uh, The IGO have multiple biotopes. They're like gardens uh, where wild creatures roam free. So experimental creatures, stuff like that. The damage to biotrope 8 is particularly severe. They carried off all the rainbow fruit, despite the fact that each fruit weighs 900 kilograms. In addition, they exterminated nearly all the troll kongs. All right, so as we can see here, they've literally just massacred things. Like, as we know from what we saw from that thing, which I believe that thing is part of Gourmet Corp, um, he pretty much just slaughtered everything, right? Thanks to surveillance cameras, we were able to identify the culprit as a new model GT robot. So that's what the thing is, as we can see in the bottom corner there. Its operate remains unknown, but we're investigating that currently. So this is the IGO. Administra Administration Chief Wine. Okay. Let's continue on. Whoever did that has a set of brass balls. But the gourmet police are on the case. Right, Chief Glass. So we've got IG Financial Affairs Chief Bull. He's the older guy and the guy with the glasses. is the IGO Public Re Relations Chief Nalloyd. Yes. However... They failed to make any arrests. What's more, Riot Squad Captain Thorpe was found murdered outside the entrance to Cavern Lagoon. So that must be the guy that was outside the Cavern Lagoon and said, Oi, what the hell? So this is IGO Legal Affairs Chief Glass. You're pulling our legs. The leader of the Gourmet Special Riot Squad? He's an ex-Gourmet hunter who's been on the force for years. Yes, yes, most terrible. The IGO must retaliate. Chief Wine. Summon the Four Kings. Yes, sir. So again, the Four Kings. All right, let's go. Toriko, Coco, Zebra, and Sunny. All right, we're getting the big guns out. Naturally, we'll need to expedite the necessary paperwork needed to release Zebra from prison. All right, so we know... Zebra's in prison, that's one thing we know. <sighs> I was hoping we'd never have to let him out. The freaking Gourmet Corp don't give us much choice, do they? What? 
We do what we gotta do. We got. We do what we gotta to protect the peace and stability of the world's food. Zevra is hardly stable, Chief. Well, one of you. When's the next attack going to happen, and on what? Well, sir. Okay. The location will be Biotope One on Regal Isle. We believe they're targeting an heirloom animal, the ancient Regal Mammoth. All right, so it looks like this could be potentially be our next hunt. The consolation in that, we at least know that that much. Biotopes One Director has been informed. But just in case, we're sending in emergency personnel. Who? Toriko. Alright, so Toriko's going in. We're going in. Then we've got chapter 19, Gore Wake Up. So we've got, the, the, we've got some sizzling. It's like it's a massive burger or something like that. It's like, alright. So, My masterpiece is complete. I call it the Toriko. It's way too big! You gotta hear what's in it first. Stacks of devil python steaks. Mounds of melting mineral cheese. All sandwiched around slices of neo tomato that I got from Coco's delicious. That I got from Coco. Delicious and full of nutrients. And he's like, ah. And Tori goes like, huh? and we got Komatsu's there as well. Time to dig in. Ah. He, uh, uh, he, Dislocated his jaw to eat. So it looks like okay, dislocated his jaw to open up so he can get the whole burger. Out. It's been a couple of days we've got him eating since we returned from Cabin Lagoon. Komatsu, there our trip was brief. I'm truly glad to have met you. Alright, so we've got Toriko here. He's got the devil of pie for me. Nice. Say it! I learned so much, Coco. Thank you so very much. I'd love to dine at your restaurant sometime. Please do. You're welcome anytime. I promise I'll have the best full course meal waiting for you. I look forward to it. <laughs> All right. So Komatsu knows two kings. Let's go. Be seeing you, Toriko. And I feel our reunion will be sooner rather than later. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Doing a little bit of fortune telling there, Coco. The two parted, saying nothing more. But I could pretty much tell that imi the image of that mysterious being was firmly planted in both their heads. By the way, Toriko, did Puffer well make it into your full course meal? Well, it lived up to the title Delicacy, Delicacy of the Deep. But there's a lot of fish in the sea. I can't choose when there's so many other creatures. I haven't tasted yet. Speaking of our tap foods, we're about to see some, right? Yes, our destination is Biotope 1, the largest and most prized garden in the in the IGO's larder. Mr. Jonas! Alright, so we're heading to Biotope 1. Sure, you guys call these things gardens, but if someone could fit one in their backyard, I'd like to see the size of the house. Biotope 8 was small. Biotope 1 covers 500,000 square kilometers. It's practically a small continent. Okay. 500,000? Well, how big is that? A little smaller than the state of Texas. Alright, that's how big it is. It's a little bit smaller than the state of Texas. It was built for gourmet development and research, but it's so large, not even the IGO can control the whole thing. Tall peaks up to 5,000 meters high cut off the island from the outside world. Alright, so there's mountains all around it and the gardens in the middle. This biotope is famous for being a place where genetic experiments and cloned species are let loose to form their own ecosystems in the name of research, of course. And you guys do yours too, right? Yes, but selectively, selectively and we cap the number of visitors at 1 million per year. Tickets must be purchased 5 years in advance. By the way, Toriko, no outside food or drink is allowed on the island. Okay. The king of all gourmet gardens that he's just eating. An island where new tastes are born. Uh, are you listening? Place full of exotic and rare animals. 
Some only exist there. Like the Regal Mammoth. So that's our next target, the Regal Mammoth. Yep, securing the Regal Mammoth is what I was hired to do. But I had a feeling the real goal is something else. Am I right, Johannes? Hmm. Details will be explained by the director. Alright, so he's picked up on it. Alright. The island's in sight. Take it down into gate G. Alright, so they're going in. It looks like they're going to gate H, though. Menu 4, Regal Mammoth. Alright. Uh, let's make sure this is still this. Yep, yeah, still the same chapter. I'm just making sure. Research facility director's office. 9,998. 9,999. 10,000! He's got like this giant creature on top of him. 10,000 push ups with that. Okay. So, Director Manson, did you just call me handsome? I did not, sir. I can report that Mr. Torco has arrived. About time, that brat. Well, what are you waiting for? Break out the best alcohol we've got. <laughs> Tonight we feast like kings. IGO, Development Chief and Gourmet Research Facility Director Manson. Alright, so I do remember this guy from the anime. He's fucking hilarious. He's like, he's awesome. There you go. That is the end of chapter 19. Gourmet Corp. Seemingly, guys, we have met our villains in the story. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And as always, guys, excuse me, I will see you guys tomorrow with chapter 19. 20 Gourmet Research Facility. Peace.